What's up everybody and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. Today we're going to be hopping right into the Halo Reach campaign played by a game designer in the level New Alexandria. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, it really does help us out and we'll hop right into this. When we left off, Noble Six had just made contact with Noble Team again and now he's on his way back to meet them. And we'll see in a second that the opening cutscene to this level is actually him returning to meet Carter. So this is just an opening shot to emphasize the fact that Noble Six is returning alone. It's just really to provide impact for the, to the, the death of George. Uh, in, in my opinion, this is really the only death in this game that really gets the sufficient narrative justice that it deserves. Uh, the rest of them were all pretty quick. This this mission has perhaps the most infamous death of the Halo Noble Team, Halo Reach Noble Team, uh, but we'll get to it. Uh, they typically try to do a mission that's about a player prior to their death, so you'll notice that Cat, she's one of the sole people that you interact with. One of the only people you interact with, and the reason that that happens is because they want to provide some type of connection to the player. Um, so they feel some things, feel some type of emotion when the main character dies. Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter op. Good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. Little bit of a touching moment there, one for George. So I, I just really want to emphasize a little bit about how this level design happens. This level is one of my favorite levels from a level design perspective. Given that you have this one big level where everything is like skyscrapers and skies and all this jazz, and then we'll have like little tiny levels where we do side missions built into this level. Sometimes they're on the top of buildings, sometimes they're like in the middle of buildings, sometimes they're in areas like this. Um, but we'll hop right in this Falcon and, and we'll explore this big level that can, houses the central part of this mission. Now, I believe this is the first time we've flown a Falcon in Reach, so note that uh, they give you a second to get adjusted to the controls. Then the first task that they're going to give us is actually not that difficult. Like always, any time we're introduced to a new mechanic, a new set of rules, it's given to us in a simple way where we can start to understand it, and then we move past into the more complex gameplay involving that mechanic. Very, very cool level to have buildings decay. Notice the flashing light to give you an objective. Uh, just like the space battle where it's easy to get lost in the 3D space, with the Falcon they really want you to be able to, to know where you're going, so they'll give you lots of visual indications on where you're supposed to go. So this is our first side level. Each time you land on one of these, see how it says loading done, checkpoint reached, something something like that? That's unloading the scene behind you. Unloading the flyable part of the scene behind you and loading in just the, the quick, smaller level here. I need to kill that. That gives shields to all the grunts, and, well, I guess any enemy in the area. This level leads up into a multiplayer level. So, again, we're out here. We can see everything, but we can't. We 
can't do anything out there. The only thing we can do is in this level because they've unloaded everything out there and they've only loaded two and ten things I'll here. Them off so you can get to the other side. Through that doorway! Move, move, move! So notice how every time we're in a a fight sequence now, the enemy almost always has the advantage of cover. This is because we are now more experienced with the 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 face-off mechanic that that most of Halo revolves around, where you go from one pitted battle to the next. Stay back, you stinking bastards! Um, but this next scene is a is a pretty good example of this. So notice that all of the brutes have cover and then you are at the top with no cover pointing down at them so you have to strafe sideways straight forward strafe back just anything you can do to to gain the advantage until you get to the point where you can hide behind one of these barriers when you need to so early you have no cover after you've taken some of them out you sort of have some cover but not quite as good as if it had been reversed So I'd like to call attention to the attention to detail outside. It's it's interesting they use volumes to control the outside areas. So on this side you have this huge flame. You can see a little bit of rain, not much. On this other side you can see the lightning light up the the water rolling down the windows and the rain effects on on the windows. It's just an interesting little small detail. And like I've I've mentioned before, sometimes the very small details make a lot of difference in this game. Need a new location. I said back off, you nasty son of a bitch. Did you notice the audio cue there? So when we were close to her, we heard her voice clearly. And then when we were further away, thanks for the assist, Spartan. We heard her voice over the radio and it transitioned right in the here. middle of the audio clip. It's, it's a very interesting, interesting interaction. Noble 2 to Noble 6. I'm showing the hospital jammer offline. Nice work. Soon as you can, I need you back in your Falcon. Noble 2 to Noble 6, you've got incoming tangos. we got jumpers! Now we're gonna see that I can't aim.
So, notice what happened there? We were introduced to the fact that the Covenant has jumpers, and they flipped the level around. You now had the cover, the Covenant no longer had the cover. Once again, dynamic difficulty. You're introduced to a mechanic, then as you get to the end of that mechanic, like we did with the last three jumpers, they were no longer, you no longer had the cover difficulty. So as you get better at the mechanic, the difficulty raises. So there's the audio cue for us to return to the main part of the level. And there's the visual cue. So now once again as we hop into the as we hop into the Falcon checkpoint done it's unloading everything inside and it's loading in the main level again it's, it's very clever level design and I it's one of my favorite levels on this whole map and this whole game because of the the things that they show you here so you see in the background the covenant have blast part of New Alexandria we'll talk about that a little bit in the further ahead but that red smoke is then essentially nuking the area. Not quite. The glassing is a way for them to kill all life in the area. So these, these middle sort of mini levels where you have like six enemies to deal with and maybe a thing to activate or maybe it's defend players as they, as they uh, escape. These are all, com well not completely random, nothing completely random, but they're randomly selected from the game and they're sort of like a, a side in between before you do the three main parts of this level. And between each of the each of the three, you do one of these little side missions, and you get another checkpoint. So this will be our second mini level. Um, again, notice 3D space, they're very quick to give you a location plus a flashing indicator. Approaching the objective six. Watch for hostile fire. The audio cue to let the player know that there's anti-air turrets there. Gonna run through this 
this pretty quickly. find out that the, the troopers may be dead, but as Kat said earlier, it's more important to get the jammer. Like, it's not just about the troopers. almost like I've played this before. <laughs> I like the elevated music. It's a really nice touch. Here we are sort of confirmed that, that the squad is dead. Um, we're offered with some alternatives, but I, I like to jump back on this level. I do like ammo though. audio cue that you need to rush and I won't do it for the sake of doing it but if you were to stay and fight these guys more and more would eventually just start spawning so they really want you to get out of this level and uh, if you kill them more and more spawn and there's no way to stop the time so it's better to just listen to the elevator music again so that's our second mini level. You'll notice once again as we get back to the Falcon, it's going to have a checkpoint done. It just unloaded the entire top part of that level, and now we're loading the main scene again since all this is technically part of the outside. Now we'll have another little mini side mission where it's like, go guard this, or, you know, activate another jammer. Here's another Global glass. Six, to we get a better idea. This is important for the lore of later in this episode. But you can see that purple shroud, that's an EMP that goes off of the glass in the glass area. They're literally trying to kill all life in the area. And they essentially did it from a pseudo-nuclear explosion. But that's important for later. As we get further into this level, more and more of the city is being turned into glass. We gotta wait for this pelican to come up. Thanks for the help. 
help, Sierra. Now, just a little bit more air combat in between going to our third side level. We're at the Byron Telecom Tower. Got hunters between us and the jammer. Copy C7, help is on the way. Number 6, I'm sending you coordinates for the Byron Tower. Go get those troopers unstuck. This is the last jammer, 6. And now we know why I've been keeping the shotgun. So checkpoint done. I've got contact. And as soon as we go inside here we'll have a new level which allows them to either dynamically unload everything outside or occlude everything outside. They don't have to, to render anything out there. So we go through the doors. Once we do that, the only thing to do is this, this interior level. So Over here's audio Parker. cue after Thanks the fight the seems over. Ammo. Jammers on the upper level. And then the visual cue of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, Destructible no, objects, fine. yeah. Well done, Nova 6. Take it back to your father. We got things under control, Lieutenant. So Head audio cue again. Checkpoint done. Again, you're unloading everything behind you. Noble two to noble leader. All jammers are down. Solid copy, noble two. Just got on New way. orders. All personnel are to be evacuated from Oni HQ. Say confirm. Confirm Oni Tower evacuated. Yeah. Noble two. Noble two. Sit rep. Copies are hitting the HQ in force. They must have zeroed my signal. Get that evac started. Roger that. Nova 6, get over here and cover our evac pelicans. I need you overhead now. Command, this is Whiskey 3-5. I've got my eyes on six long-range shade turrets in the vicinity of the Oni Tower. Making life pretty tough on our evac birds. Copy, Whiskey 3-5. Nova 6, take out those heavy shades. Shape to it down. Whiskey 3 
6 proceeded evac. I copy, command. Thanks. Nova 6, lose those other shade turrets so pelicans can get out of here. Lots of audio cues in case you ever get confused on Third what you're down. supposed to be doing on the level. That's the fourth shade. Whiskey 3, 5, you're clear to proceed with evac. Copy, command. Much obliged. Nova 6, you've got to neutralize the remaining shades for our evac birds. Whiskey 3-5 to command. We need those shade turrets gone. Copy 3-5. Go, Lieutenant. Shade turrets are priority one. Five down. One to go. So notice all throughout this level we've been experiencing what the glassing of the, of the city looks like and Cat has been the primary Spartan helping us. Did you hear that? I'm a steely-eyed Spartan. Um, but we've, we've worked in conjunction with Cat the whole level and we've experienced what glassing looks like the whole level and both of those things are going to be very important for the upcoming cutscene. Look at this place. It used to be the crown jewel. <laughs> Not anymore. Hey, you made it. It's a regular family reunion. Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Sir, that true about Gauntlet Red and Echo teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communique. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, Cat. Chasing it. But this concert's got more shrapnel in it than transceivers. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. Colonel Holland, hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. Be in the southwest quadrant of the city. Over. Sierra 259. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. Yes, sir. Mm. We got movement. Multiple so the covenant covenants vacating. vacating the area. And they're in a hurry. How often do you see covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation is leveling, flare. so remember Big. the gassing comes. Just lost Hong. What's DMP going on? Flare Atomic that comes excitement with it. scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That close! So the EMP and the glassing has just hit the Spartan, so. EMP knocks out their shields. First blessing. Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir? We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? Covenant own it now! Which is why they want us for a torch and burn off. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. If it hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? So the level is almost entirely designed for this narrative come on, moment. Come on, get in! Let's go! Come on! Close the door! As they're running through the bunker, the EMP had taken out the shield, so a single shot to the top of the head from the Covenant sniper rifle is able to kill Cat. Uh, she was talking a little bit uh, about the story as, as a little nod to what's coming ahead. She said something along the lines of what's the point of a, of a, a burn-op being a class one operation. 
And that is a nod to the fact that it's not quite what it seems. And I think as we get into back into Only Sword Base, we'll see that uh, there's a little bit more to this than a burn up. And, and that's what that little one line at the end is, is a nod towards. It's just a narrative choice that they make to, to highlight to the player that there's more going on here than, than just what you think. Uh, with that said, that's the end of this mission. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, please comment down below. Hop in our Discord. The link's in the description below. Feel free to ask us anything in there. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out, and hopefully we'll see you next week.